My name is Nancy. I went to Bill Wells High School and I'm studying musical theatre, English literature and drama and I'm also part of the Performing Arts Academy. I chose to study drama. I mean, I've always been interested in acting probably from day one, so um, I kind of already knew that I, like before even looking at the, the prospectus that I was going to take it. But then upon looking at it, I realised how like varied the course was and that just made me want to take even more. The topic that I've probably found the most interesting so far has been probably the Punch Drunk stuff. So Punch Drunk is an immersive theatre group, completely like any other, um, different to any other theatre group that I've ever looked at before. And it's just really interesting the way that they, they put the audience paramount to their production and it's, yeah, it's all about the audience and their experience. So my workload, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty full on and drama is, the workload for drama is immense because there is a lot of written work in it as well. Um, but the support that you get here from the teachers and this is just like, it's amazing. And they also run workshops so that you can, you know, you can help to revise there as well. The facilities for drama here are truly amazing. I mean, this is the PAC and it's huge and there's loads of lighting and the costume department's amazing. There's just, there is really something for everyone and it's, um, it, it's very accessible to everyone as well. Some of the pra practitioners that we study, so one of them is uh, Frantic Assembly and they're a physical theatre group. Um, and we did that in our first year, but the years are a bit messed up for COVID, so it might be different. Um, but that was really interesting, especially because we couldn't touch, it was very interesting to like, how do we communicate through physical theatre without touch? But then obviously I said before, Punch Drunk, uh, um, another practitioner that we look, look at and we had a member of Punch Drunk come in to do a workshop with us and that was really incredible, uh, very eye-opening. I mean, they really transformed this space into something into something else and it was, yeah, it just gave us like an insight into what they really do and it was just very interesting. So the balance between the practical and the theory, I think it's 60, 40 to written and um, practical. But even when you're, you know, you're working on your written stuff, you you are encouraged to like get up and try stuff just to, you know, well, get it into your brain a bit better so that you can actually visualise it and stuff. So I mean, it is the workload and the written element is is hard, um, but the balance is there, and you know, it's, again, it's accessible to everyone. So the course, um, a lot of people come onto it thinking that they're going to be an actor, and then like leave as a designer because the it, you know it's not all about acting it's you are taught how to act and the skills and how to write about that but you're also taught how to be a set designer and costume light sound etc um pretty much from day one so it's it's very like there really is something for everyone on this course so if you're if you know if you come on thinking that you want to be an actor great but you know people come on thinking that they're going to be an actor and leave as designers and i think that's me so Outside of drama, I take part in the Performing Arts Academy, which um, you have to audition to get in. And it's basically, it's like, it's pretty much one-to-one -one because the, the, the groups are so small. And it trains you for drama school, if you know what I mean. So like, it helps you to learn about audition technique, ready to take you on to the next step if you're serious about becoming an actor. And then there's also Upstage, which is a student-run theatre group here and they put on productions. Recently I was in a production called Gareth and Amy, written by um, the intern over here. <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was really good and very much fun. And they do productions like that all the time. The atmosphere at Hereford Sixth and College is honestly, it's so lovely, it's so welcoming. Everyone is, you know, there's no judgment or, you know, in high school you get like cliques and like groups and stuff and there's none of that here. Um, and I think on the drama course, it's, it's really lovely because it kind of like whittles people out straight away so if, if you know there will always be some people who take drama because they think it's like an easy way out um, but they will realize throughout like the first year that it's not easy at all and you're left with like a really good group of friends who are really close especially you have to be quite um, vulnerable in drama sometimes and so you know you, you make you make some good buddies if there was someone looking to take drama the advice I would give them is just to like try it I mean it's like I said before, everyone's so lovely. There's going to be no judgment if you mess up or like, like you can't even mess up. Um, and, you know, there is something for everyone on this course. There's so many different aspects of theatre. Like theatre is such like a general term. So 
I think just, just give it a go. Like, why not? So after college, I plan to go to drama school to continue my training to be a professional actor and do that as my career. The support at Hereford has been just amazing. Like I said, the Performing Arts Academy, that really trains you for auditions and even auditioning for drama school. So I feel very, you know, I feel prepared and secure to take this next step.